Groovy. Hey everybody, Jim here. Welcome back. And uh, recently I've kind of gotten back into uh, collecting figures, so I thought I would share that with all of you. And today we're going to be taking a look at this one I picked up recently. It's the Yukiko Amagi figure from Persona 4. So the packaging on this is pretty cool. As you can see, it kind of maintains the motif and color scheme of Persona 4, which is kind of like a 70s style, like very colorful and vibrant. Um, yeah, kind of like a late 60s, early 70s, I guess. I don't know, for whatever reason, when I see the little flowers and the color designs, it makes me think of like the uh, like Austin Powers movies. That's what the color scheme for Persona 4 makes me think of. Uh, as you can see on the back here, uh, this is just one in a set of four, uh, the other central characters from Persona 4, and apparently it looks like you can connect all of their um, uh, bases together to get kind of a cool uh, Persona 4 design, if you can uh, take a look at that. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, the packaging for this one, uh, pretty nice looking. Um, it's a little, tiny little bit worn, um, because this actually I did buy used from a hard off, but... Um, it was uh, in good enough condition that I, I was uh, for sure going to get this one. And uh, apparently it's part of the special Kuji Platinum series. And uh, more specifically, it's uh, inspired by Persona 4, the animation. But let, uh, let's get the figure out and take a look at that. So here it is in all of its glory, uh, Yukiko. Uh, I gotta say, just looking at it, um, it's a fairly nice figure. It's a pretty detailed paint job. No real visible mistakes or anything like that. Um, I do kind of like the detail of like uh, the windswept hair and, and skirt and everything like that. And uh, as I said uh, on the back of the box, the, the base has a really cool uh, black and yellow design that it's obviously meant to um, you know be uh, with the other uh, three figures in the series but I do really uh, like the looks of this one um, her glasses I thought might be removable but they are not um, something else though about this figure uh, she does come with a fan how to get her to hold the fan is beyond me um, the best I can think of it would have been nice if her hand would have been like magnetic or something but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case let me alright so that's the best I could do I ended up having to kind of fit her thumb through a hole in the fan there uh, it does look still you know pretty cool you know the fan kind of characteristic of her um, but yeah that they would uh, include a, like a prop with the figure that isn't easily uh, attached to the figure kind of perplexing but yes, the uh, Yukiko Amagi uh, Persona 4 figure, the special Kuji Platinum series, as uh, I guess it's called. Um, cool figure, uh, I do like it a lot. Like I said, it's it's detailed, it looks really nice. Um, and it would be, you know, especially cool this or any of the other figures in this series would be, um, you know, really excellent for a Persona fan, which I am. I do like the Persona series, and uh, I would at some point, I guess, like to get uh, the other three figures in this set because they look pretty cool and like I said when the you know the bases are all connected it uh, does look uh, pretty damn cool so I'd like to pick those up anyway yes I would uh, highly encourage any Persona fans especially those of you who enjoy figures to uh, pick up this Yukiko Amagi and um, all of the others in this set um, if judging by this one they would all be uh, pretty nice I like this one quite a bit so that's it first figure review on this channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and let me hear it down in the comments. Goodbye everybody.